Hey everybody, it's InnoVision. And today we're gonna go over something that I've been chipping away at for the last couple of weeks. I will show you how to enable FSR4 on your SteamOS powered device. And we're gonna show a couple of gameplay examples and the settings I'm using today. To be completely honest, I'm astonished at the visual fidelity I'm getting and the results that I'm seeing. Mind you, this technology is still experimental and it does come with a performance penalty. And this is something that I feel like will end up being the crown jewel for the Z2 Extreme APUs. And that might be why AMD is shying away shipping it on Z1 Extreme and older devices. At any rate, I can't wait to share it with everybody. Stick around, because you don't want to miss any of it. As we get started, I would like to thank JC, a member of our community, for recommending this as a topic for us to discuss. And given that he's a member, I've prioritized his request. I'll start by showing you how to install everything so that you can enable the plugin and start using it in your games. But before we show you the use case, I'm gonna show you my settings using FSR2, and then I'm gonna show you the settings that I'm using for FSR4. And it's using a app called OptiScaler. And the game that I'm using is Diablo 4. And it's very important because the games that support this method are games that support NVIDIA's deep learning super sampling. And it's not that we're gonna be using the deep learning or DLSS technology on our device. We're gonna be injecting FSR 4 frame gen into the NVIDIA setting of the game. And so right now, that's one of the limitations. Not only do you need this third-party plugin, but you need a game that supports NVIDIA's DLSS. The results are astonishing. In fact, the frame gen that I'm seeing looks comparable to my NVIDIA deep learning super sampling. The other thing I wanna call out here, this video, the focus here isn't so much on the performance. We're, we show the FPS counter in the top left corner, but the focus here really is to tease out the improvements of the visual quality and the visual fidelity. And as time goes on, if there's enough interest, I want everybody to comment on this video and subscribe and let me know that you want to see more gameplay comparisons. In order to install the latest version of the Deki Frame Gen plugin, we're going to have to go to desktop mode. If you've never set up Deki Loader plugins before, click the start button, go to system, and then console, and you're going to type in PASSWD to set your password. And in my case, I've already set the password, so I'm not going to set it again uh, because it's going to reset it. But if it's the first time you're doing this, you'll get prompted to enter a password twice, and that will be your password. The next thing you want to do is search for Deki Loader. And this second site that popped up for me here, this Deki.xyz, we're going to click on that and then we're going to click download. And it'll go in our downloads folder here and we can click right here to open it and you'll double click it and it's going to ask you what you want to do with it. We're going to click execute and then click continue. And you'll type in the password that you just set. Now, if you already have Deki Loader installed, it'll show up like this. It's going to ask what we want to do, update to latest release, so on and so forth. You don't need to go through these steps if you already have Deki Loader set up. And if you followed one of my guides for installing SteamOS, you already have Deki Loader set up. Now, if it's your first time setting up Deki Loader, it's just going to ask you, do you want to use the latest release or do you want to use the latest pre-release? And we're on Steam Deck Stable, so we're just going to stick with the latest release. And you'd click OK, and then it would go through the normal install process. Now that we have Deki Loader installed, we're going to want to download the Deki Frame Gen plugin. And it's this very first repository that shows up here by XXJSON. And this guy's quite prolific. He's made a lot of plugins and a lot of progress. So once you land on this GitHub repository, we're going to go over on the right hand side and it says 45 releases. The latest current release does not have FSR4 in it. So we're going to want to get the pre-release. And so this is the one we want, 0.13.0. .0. And so we'll scroll down here to the assets section, expand that, and then we're going to download this DeckyFrameGen.zip. With that downloaded, we're going to go ahead and return to gaming mode. All right, with us in gaming mode, we're going to go ahead and open the side controls here and go down to the section with our plugins. And so I already have Deki Loader set up. You know, I'm using Legion Go Remapper and Lossless Scaling. But what we want to do now is click this cog icon. You'll have to go in the Developer tab, and it gives you the option to install from a zip file. So we'll go to Browse, and then we're going to go to Downloads, and we want this Deki Frame Gen .zip. So we're going to go ahead and install that. It might take a while, depending on your internet connection. And so here it's installed, and it takes us right to it. So we'll go to Deki Frame Gen, and we want to set up OptiScaler mod. 
So you'll click on that. I want to take a quick look at our settings for Diablo 4 before we apply the OptiScaler patch and the FSR4 frame gen. So in both cases, I'll be running at 1200 by 800 with integer scaling enabled. And so we've got FSR2 with the quality preset and the texture is at the low quality preset. So to enable FSR4 and the OptiScaler plugin that's provided by Deki Frame Gen, we're gonna have to go to Deki Frame Gen and then copy the patch command. And it's giving us a warning here saying that once we apply this patch, unless we unpatch it, the game will retain this setting. So let's go ahead and click copy here. And so if you wanna remove it, you'll click this copy unpatch command. But for now, we want to patch the game. We'll go into properties. And we'll just go ahead and paste it here. Another call out while the game loads. This only works for games that support NVIDIA DLSS. That's because Deki Frame Gen is injecting the FSR Frame Gen settings into the NVIDIA DLSS slot within the game. And so you can see on the bottom left corner there, OptiScaler is running. And in order to access the OptiScaler menu, you'll need to hit the insert key on your keyboard. Now, if you don't have a keyboard, there's a way to map key presses from a keyboard to button combinations on your controller. I'm not covering that in this video. So I'm gonna hit the insert. This is a pretty involved menu here. This is the OptiScaler menu. And by default, it's using the Intel XESS. All right, after some tinkering, I had to come up with a new set of settings because the game got updated and broke the settings I was using earlier. And so one thing you can do, by default, this OptiScaler UI pops up at 0.8 scale and it makes it hard to see and read. So you'll wanna set this to one. By default, it's gonna have XESS selected. You're gonna select FSR3 slash four and then the FFX settings make sure you pick FSR4 and you'll click change upscaler. And then for your frame gen, previously I was able to use this Nukem's DLSS, it's broken. Now if you use FSR3 here, it's gonna be slower. So what we're gonna use is this DLSS via streamline. And what this is gonna do, allow us to select NVIDIA DLSS frame gen in the game. And so here we're in the game. We're gonna to go to options. So the way this works is Deki Frame Gen injects its own settings under the NVIDIA DLSS settings. And so we can see here, we've got, it thinks it's a GeForce RTX 4090. We're still using the same resolution, but this is where things get interesting. So I've got NVIDIA DLSS super resolution selected. That's just a text label. Underneath the hood, it's FSR4. We're using that as our upscaler and we're using the balanced quality mode preset. And we've got DLSS frame gen set to 2X. That's because we use the streamlined DLSS setting. And then we've got our quality preset to low. And you can see here, we're hovering in the 50 frames per second. When the shadows start creeping Streets whisper, ain't no safe sleeping Eyes watch from the corners, they scheming Gotta move quick, can't let them start feeding Heart pounds, every step I'm misleading Make calls from the alley, can't be seen Hide in the black, can't let them intervene Grip tight, every moan's echo up past deeds Grit teeth, ain't no time for the weak
I would like to thank everyone for joining us here today. Be sure to hit me up in the comments section and let me know if there's other games you'd like to test. Let me know if you think that the small performance regression we see is worth the visual fidelity improvement. Now, mind you, this is just one game and one use case, but I'm happy to try other games so long as you let me know. Be sure to hit the like button on the video, be sure to hype it, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss all the amazing toys and gaming tips we've got coming down the pipeline.